The following contest is a six-woman battle royal and is for the championship. Introducing the challenger. And introducing the champion from Tokyo, Japan. You gotta believe this one's over. And there's bodies everywhere as we get this battle royal started. And let's remember, guys, both feet have to hit the floor in order to be eliminated from this battle royal. She's not careful. Things can get out of control in a hurry. Uh, I think they're about to. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, the arm's trapped. Slammed down hard. Got the leg. A oh, dragon screw. Challenger's starting to falter. You can bet she still has eyes on becoming Ouch. champion, though. Yeah, but she still has to be considered a legitimate contender to win this battle royal. These women are so evenly matched at this point, guys. There's just no telling which one of them will walk out of here victorious. Oh, man. And that's how a superstar takes advantage of their ring position. Such a high ring IQ. Champs absorbing some offense here. She knows she's going to have to bring her A game if she wants to leave her gold intact here tonight. Hey, unless you're Andre the Giant, battle royals are difficult. And she's clearly not Andre the Giant. So I can understand struggling a little bit here. But it's still early here, guys. It's going to take a whole heck of a lot more than this to keep her down. Caught off guard. She's got her. Here we go. Got the reversal. Boom, oh, land pass. Harsh impact. Going for it. Oh, oh, nasty impact. Now that's how you make a statement. A great six-man battle royal was the number 30 over-the-top rope challenge on Monday Night Raw back in 2004. The WWE oh, Universe saw Goldberg, Mark Henry, Rob Van Dam, Chris Jericho, Randy Orton, and Booker T battle it out to see who would be the last superstar standing and earn the coveted 30th entrance spot for that year's Royal Rumble match. 
Setting up for it. Just a debilitating neck breaker. What's going to happen now? Byron, you took us back in time with the number 30 over the top rope challenge on Raw. The thing about that battle royal that is so memorable to me is the way Goldberg dominated the match early on. Goldberg was the last superstar to enter the ring and just started dropping his opponents. One by one, superstars were limp. We've seen this before. Ooh, what impact. Nice. Shut it down. Looks like trouble here, Byron. I don't know. I guess that all depends on who you're rooting for. Beautiful technique. She's in full control now. This is not where you want to be. The challenger not in a great place. She needs to find a way to get back on the offensive here. Well, she's lasted this far, which is a credit to her, but I'm not so sure she could take on much more punishment and still expect to win this battle royal. And this might very well be the turning point of this match. Unless, of course, she can come up with something big here. She's in control. She's in full control now. She's in control. She's got her. We're looking at complete domination here. She gets in attack mode. Look out. One of the most intense six-man battle royals I've ever witnessed took place on SmackDown in 2008. It was Jeff Hardy, Big Show, Great Khali, Umaga, MVP, and Mr. Kennedy all throwing down to see who would be the number one contender for the WWE Championship. The winner would take on then-WWE Champion, Triple H. Harsh impact. Look at her go. The six-man battle royal on SmackDown was an exciting time. Corey, just to help put things in perspective, WWE officials had to order the ring to be reinforced for this matchup because between the six superstars, there was more than three-quarters of a ton of humanity in the ring. That was not more obvious than when Big Show battled Umaga and the great Khali. One by one, the field cleared. The WWE Universe became unglued when Jeff Hardy eliminated the Big Show with a Hurricane Rana over the top rope. With the great Khali down, the charismatic Enigma followed that with a swanton bomb. But Khali's size and strength were too much, and the Giant eliminated Jeff Hardy to become the number one contender for the WWE Championship. When I think of a six-man battle royal, I often think of how different the strategy is for a superstar who's competing in it. Yes, the objective is the same, to be the last person standing in the ring, but there are only six superstars. You're not able to hide among the trees, so to speak, as well as the battle royals with 20, 30, or 40 superstars. Byron, you made a great point earlier when talking about the different strategy a superstar needs to employ in a six-man battle royal as opposed to a battle royal with a much larger... She looks for it once again. What a clothesline! Ouch! Oh, yes! Takes it! Let's take another look at these women in action. She's taking care of business. Every single minute of this one was memorable. 